in the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, it specifically says in Title 18, Indigenous people have the right to participate in decision making that affects their rights and have the right to choose their own representatives in accordance with their own procedures. So that means that Moors can send their writs and they have to honor also the Moors procedures as well. But a corporate state cannot bring a charge within their own territory because it also says in United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People that when a hearing or a tribunal is being held and it's going to, going to affect your human rights, you have a right to have it held in an unbiased national tribunal. And that's not a national tribunal, that's a corporate that's a corporate tribunal because it's a corporate state. So to force a bar attorney upon him, an indigenous Morris American, for one, it not being in their bloodline, and for two, the Foreign Nations Act, the foreign relation, that's the whole reason why Noble Draw Lee went to Havana, Cuba, because Coolidge, they was having they was having talks on other nations being able to interrupt into other nations relations and it was it was upheld by all the nations that was there that one nation can't interrupt and interfere in another nation's relations but nonetheless it's two different jurisdictions they have federal questions and they have constitutionally secured rights questions. The public European propaganda says that they they do not they do not recognize federal law or state law. However, the Moor did say that he is standing on the or peaceful journey law, excuse me. So how can he reference a federal law, but they say that he doesn't recognize that. That's obvious propaganda to cause confusion, incite misinformation, and hate. And I mean, there's many things that you can already tell they're making errors in their, in their tribunals. Again, they have constitutional questions, which means that they have no jurisdiction because they're subordinate. And the reason why we always speak on international law like the UN DRIP or the UN Declaration of Human Rights is because you can't go and expect to get relief in a tribunal that's in the same jurisdiction as who's bringing the charge against you. So if Commonwealth of or state of is bringing a criminal complaint against you, but you're in their tribunal and you have their officers in there working for them, that is not a fair and unbiased national tribunal. So I'm just going to sit back and see what happens with, the, with all of it. But I already see a lot of errors. The... Southern Poverty Law Center. They are 501c3, a religious nonprofit. They have blatantly violated international law as far as media or any propaganda being put out to the public that puts indigenous people in a, a light of negativity or inciting misinformation, like I said again. So I know as far as the finance, just like the European, the young Euro European that stood in front of the, the so-called Indian and they had him in the newspaper and he brought a, a suit against them. And within three months, he had millions of dollars from that news channel. That's what the Moors is going. That's what the Moors going to do because they did that times 20. So I just been going over the little pieces that I see. 
Also, how can you, if you're going from one territory to another and you're supposedly going in the middle of a territory, how can you get a license for that territory if you're not a resident? Because it specifically says to get a permit for your for your firearm or whatever, you have to be a resident to get the card, which they don't need the card anyway. But even if they was trying to be corporately compliant, they couldn't get a permit because you have to be a resident. But I'm sure they have something like an emergency card. Nonetheless, you have to be a resident to have a permit within their jurisdiction. When I get further information, further information, when I look in, I'll be constantly given the errors that I see. As far as at this moment, I don't see any of them brothers in error. I know that they know what to say and what not to say. As far as the writs they, they file, it have to be honored. But don't respect, don't expect any relief from any subordinate corporate buildings or agencies from the U.S. Department of Justice, forget about them. Just all of anybody that's in this jurisdiction, they're subordinate to the U.S. So you're not going to get relief, especially when they're when they're violating. The, the U.S. is watching all these different states violate and they're not doing anything about it. All these states have their their U.S. banner in their tribunals and they're violating left and right. So you're not going to receive help domestically. That's why more stick with international with all the different nations of the world. Islam.